So I follow that uh, stretching exercises uh, with uh, Vrikshasin. Also, you how uh, you just uh, need to stand uh, erect, uh, and uh, alternatively you have to stand on one feet and like this, and make a namaskar mudra and see just in front of you and concentrate. And you have to count from one to fifty. I'll count one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. Now I'll do it uh, with the other leg like this and I'll again count from 1 to 10. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's a Vrikshasana uh, for you. Then uh, I start in Padmasan and uh, then uh, I need to do this uh, exercise uh, for my abdomen uh, like this uh, Kapal Bhati I need to put my hands like this on my knees and concentrate and then I need to inhale and put my abdomen back and while exhaling I'll put it out like this <laughs> so that's uh, for you uh, and uh, then I move to my breathing uh, uh, exercise or breathing yoga that is uh, anulom vilom and how you do it you need to cover your left nostril with your left hand and inhale from right nostril and uh, you're keeping your hands and making a loop like this right hand on your right knee left hand is pressing your left nostril and then inhale from right nostril like this while I inhale from uh, right nostril I was covering my left nostril with my left hand and I held the breathing for 10 seconds you can uh, hold it uh, for uh, say 15 or 20 seconds also and I'll repeat the exercise uh, again So, I'll repeat uh, that uh, uh, for the other nostril as well. So, this time, I'll cover my uh, right nostril with my right hand and inhale from left nostril like this. So I inhaled uh, from left nostril by covering the uh, right nostril from my right hand then I held it uh, for 10 seconds and I let uh, exhale from the right nostril. I'll repeat it again.
So that's uh, an long, long for you guys, and uh, uh, then uh, I moved to uh, squatting. And how do I do it? I'll again stretch my uh, legs. In fact, I'll stretch it, but I'll bend it like this, like this. And I'll keep both my hand like this. I'll clutch both my hands and put it behind my head. And I'll bring my upper torso towards my bent knees. And while doing so, I'll inhale. And while going in the uh, earlier position, I'll exhale like this. I did it uh, uh, 10 times, but uh, when I'm doing the actual exercise, I do it 100 times. You can do it, in fact, 200 times. It's very good for uh, belly. It keeps your belly uh, fit, lean, and toned. Uh, so uh, this is uh, squatting for you. The next is uh, no caution. You need to uh, make a pose like a boat. And how do you do it? See. So, you stretch your legs and like this. And you put your both hands by the side of your body and head like this. And then you gradually raise your feet in the air at, a, at an angle of 30 degrees. And while doing, while doing so, you also raise your hands. And at the same time, you're inhaling. So you hold in that position for 10 seconds and while putting your feet down, you exhale. And how? Just say this. I uh, did it uh, uh, five times, uh, but uh, actually I do it uh, 25 times. Earlier I used to do uh, uh, 20 times, but uh, I increased it uh, to 25. I think 25 is uh, good enough, but uh, if you want, uh, you can increase up to even 50. Uh, but 25 is cool. So uh, that's uh, no caution for you. And next, what I do. Uh, well, the next is uh, I meditate and how I do it, I again go into Padmasan or Kamalasan and uh, you need to uh, make uh, hands uh, like this, say, a loop like uh, uh, seven uh, as you write in uh, uh, Devanagari Hindi or the inverted six like this and put it on your knees and then concentrate see uh, some distant place uh, in front of you and gradually close your eyes and once you close your eyes just try to go in a different world try to move your mind away from where you are just forget 
the time, forget the place, forget who you are, and try to detach your subconscious from the conscious. Uh, go uh, to your childhood days, or go to a place you love, or go to wherever you want, but just try to detach your soul from your body. Uh, it's not easy, it needs practice, but uh, well, you can do it eventually. So now I'll uh, meditate. I normally do it uh, for a count of uh, 100, but you can do it as uh, long as you want, maybe for half an hour. But okay, you are a busy man. Do you have that time? But you can do it even for five minutes. That does world of good. I'll do it for a count of 100. So uh, that's a uh, count of 100, uh, that's meditation for you, I'm feeling much lighter, much better and happier. And uh, what you do next to that, you need to put both your hands like this and rub it to create some heat. It's a real heat van, energy. And can you feel it? Yes, I can feel it. I can feel the heat. And when you have that heat, put it on your eyes. And let the heat, let your eyes soak in that heat. That is, that is really good for your eyes. That improves your sight. That keeps your eyes healthy. Uh, maybe if you are wearing power glasses, it can also uh, decrease the power of your lenses. You need to do it for five times. So that's it, uh, and then uh, you need to chant Om. Just close your eyes, and uh, you have to uh, pronounce Om in a deep, elongated form, like this. You have to do it at least five times. Just follow me. Om.
you need to gradually open your eyes and come to the uh, to the world where you belong. So from subconsciousness to consciousness. So that's it guys. Uh, that was the drill. I do it uh, four times in a week. Uh, but uh, nowadays since I have nothing better to do, I do it almost every day. So that's it. Take care. Bye for now.